The organized labor has demanded the review of retirement age for all public servants from 60 to 65 years and from 35 years to 40 years of service. The organized labor made a demand during this year's Workers' Day celebration with the theme Workers' Rights and Social Economy Justice. Past and present leaders of the Nigeria Labor Congress NLC and the Trade Union Congress TUC as well as those of other affiliate unions converged on the Eagle Square Abuja in commemoration of the 2023 May Day celebration. President of NLC, Comrade Joe Ajero, said equity, fairness and justice underpin the survival of society and creates resilience from nations in the midst of upheavals and turbulence, noting that Nigeria needs the presence of this mass to jumpstart the process of development. He said poor wages, abuse of workplace rights and privileges, as well as unpaid salaries strip workers of their rights. Nigerians and Nigerian workers need evidence of the commitment of the Nigerian leaders to ensuring their safety, their security, their progress, and eventually their liberty. It is only the proof of this that can reconnect the masses and workers with the government. In our celebration this year, we seek to re-establish the mutuality of positive relationship between nature and quality of the way workers are treated and the depth of socioeconomic justice that exists within our societies, especially in Nigeria. This relationship is mutually reinforcing as has, as has a wide complex implication of our society. Deeper protection of rights and privileges of workers ensures greater socioeconomic justice, which leads in building a nation that is more cohesive and is able to withstand the officials and powers of centrifuge that seeks its disintegration. It is therefore not charity or dash when workers' salaries are improved. It is not a giveaway when we insist on better deal for workers who are geese that lay the golden egg. It is neither self-seeking to ask for more decent work compliance in our workplaces, nor group speak when we articulate, protect, and project our rights as key social partners. It is truly out of our love and commitment to the survival of the nation that we seek the fulfillment of these rights. All these inject positive multipliers into our societies, thus make our nation better and more progressive. We must deliberately and collectively seek the protection of workplace rights to protect our nation. It is a collective duty and surest part to build a nation as our national anthem summarizes it, where peace and justice shall reign. Review of retirement age to 65 for public servants. The need to review upward the retirement age and years of service in public service has become imperative. Extension of years of service, as was done in other sectors in public service, we believe will go round. Only few other establishments, including the core civil service, are now left out. We are therefore demanding that the age of retirement and length of service and length of uh, public service, including civil servants, should be reviewed upward to 65 years of age, 40 years of service, whichever comes first. In attendance at this year's May Day celebration, or the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, Minister of Labor and Employment, Chris Ngege, Minister of the Federal Capital Territory, Mohamed Bailo, and Minister of Women Affairs, Pauline Talane. Workers' rights, coupled with social economic justice, make a happy workplace. We therefore agree that a fair economic structure targeted at creating opportunities for all to succeed in respective of sex, race, ethnicity, age, disability, creed, religion, etc. is a second norm for progress and development. I encourage the incoming administration to continue to respect workers' rights imbued with social economic development and driven by the four pillars of decent work agenda to promote jobs and enterprise, guaranteeing rights at work, extending social protection 
and promoting social dialogue for consensus building and maintenance of industrial relationships. I implore all of you to consolidate on the mileage already covered by the federal government in the last eight years. Issue acrimony, fashionalization, selfishness, and develop a spirit of cooperation rather than confrontation and engage in social dialogue rather than aggression or unnecessary industrial action with your employers. Social dialogue is an elixir that will engender industrial peace, engender mutual trust, and strengthen and consolidate the unity needed to build a prosperous and a belligerent nation of our dream. Great Nigerian workers, in closing, I want to say a heartfelt thank you. Build a country where Nigerians will be proud to say that they are Nigerians. A country where people will not be struggling to go out. A country where all of us workers will say they are working and they are happy. We can't get the economy right, we can't get anything right until the workers are working and are being looked after, their welfare and everything, and they are productive. That's why we say we'll move it from consumption to production. This year's May Day celebration will be the last to be held under President Mohamedou Buhari's administration.